most people don't know that your phone can actually be tracked when there is no data leaving your phone. To prove it, I'm gonna need a massive environment. I'm gonna need a city, essentially, where there's shops, there's restaurants, there is entertainment, there's people living there, and all of all the thousands and thousands of people that are there, not a single one has cell phone data. An environment such as this. This is the Princess Enchanted, a mega floating city that has over 3,500 guests, over a thousand crew, has 19 decks where along with your stateroom, you can find multiple restaurants and entertainment venues, which makes it the perfect place to test this as nobody has cell phone signal. Now that we're out at sea, instantly thousands of people have just lost their cell phone signal and the only data connection you have is using the ship's Wi-Fi. You see, when you're on the ship, every guest is actually given one of these. This is the Princess Medallion and essentially it's your key to everything. You use it to unlock your room. You use it when you make purchases, when you order your drinks, when you get on and off the ship. This is everything here. So what has tracking got to do with this medallion? Well. This little medallion is actually BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy, and I believe it's got NFC as well. And essentially what this is, is like a blinking lighthouse that's constantly screaming, hey, my name is, here is my MAC address. Now, here is the tracking bit. You see, all over the ships, there are literally thousands of these beacons, and they're constantly reading what this is sending out. So at any one time, the company, which in this case is Princess, knows exactly where every single guest is because this is constantly telling them, here I am, and those sensors in the ceiling are constantly picking this up. Now, in the Princess app itself, you could essentially get your family together and you can share your location. The app is so smart and there are so many of these sensors around that they use triangulation to figure out where you are, you could say, hey, I'm looking for my family, they're sitting at this location, map me a route to be able to get to them. So, as you can see, even without cell phone data, BLE is how we get tracked. What has this BLE medallion got to do with us in the real world who are not on cruise ships the entire time? Well, our phones actually have BLE that's built into the device itself. Now think about it. The BLE technology that's in the phone is the same as this. It's constantly screaming, hey, here is my MAC address. Anybody, literally anyone can set up a beacon to read that information. Let's just say you're in a mall. They're able to have these beacons all over the mall and they're able to identify when somebody is walking in with their phone they're able to track them as they're moving around the retail shop and around the mall. Now the phones try to protect you by giving out a temporary fake MAC address. But if you install the retailer's application, if you've installed their loyalty program, if you use their website through your phone, they're able to take your fake MAC address and your real address and marry it together. That is how retailers are able to get around the so-called anonymized MAC address. Anyone can set up a BLE reader. In fact, I spent 10 minutes sitting out here on this very deck using AI to be able to write a quick program on my Windows computer. Check this out. All right, this is me from the future. I kind of lost the footage of me doing this on the deck of the ship, so I'm actually doing this at the airport. And you can see here, same program, it's able to still pick up the timestamp and the information broadcast by the phone, the MAC address, and the signal strength. So I can see how close or far people are to my laptop. Scary that this was written by AI in about 10 minutes. So the big question is, what can you do to protect yourself? Well, what you gotta do is you gotta switch off Bluetooth. Simple as that. Now, be aware, when you go into airplane mode, it doesn't automatically switch off Bluetooth anymore. It leaves the Wi-Fi on, it leaves Bluetooth on, so things like air tags can work, your Bluetooth headphones can work. So you've got to go and make sure that you switch it off. Of course, you can switch your entire phone off, but let's be honest, nobody's really going to do that. Switch off Wi-Fi as well. I've got a whole video about why you should switch off Wi-Fi when you're not using it. You can check it out right over here. Before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up, and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.